This video shows how to create a small uh, console application in Visual Studio. So what we do now is we are opening our Visual Studio Express, Express Edition. And there we will find at the beginning uh, an opening dialog, which is uh, here, create a new project. And now if you go there and write in there, uh, for example, console, console, then you will find a small filtered uh, list, which says, okay, we have here the uh, console in .NET Core. Um, and one in the .NET Framework. So we are going to start now with the with this one, the classic one in .NET uh, Framework. We'll start that point. Then we go to our let's say test area. Um, go here to my small test area. New folder, test, or demo, and then I say, okay, uh, I'm selecting that folder, uh, and I say, this is the console app, zero one, in uh, with in with the net framework. Here's the net framework. Uh, which is included and then we say create and now we have a small uh, we have now Visual Studio opened on the right side there's uh, in this tree this is the solution the entire solution and this is the console project and inside there uh, that's always the same we have here a using area then we have the namespace that's the entire uh, area which uh, where everything is, uh, is is visible inside of this namespace and now this is my current uh, let's say file or program that's a class which is running and that's always this is the big loop uh, the big loop which uh, wherein the program is running so and now we say and inside there we're gonna say uh, console and then a right line right line now for example in the time date time time and then uh, now so we know uh, whenever this happens that uh, that the program uh, that the de uh, the, de uh, the debugger was going there, uh, going to that point. Now, when I start it, there pumps up this jumps up this small black window, where this is the console, the Windows console, which uh, this is all only necessary when you do some uh, internal developing. And now I take uh, the F10 as a single step then you will see it writes down the uh, the actual date or uh, everything which is inside the uh, right line so and now when I go on with F5 then, then the program goes on so the problem in here is that you see the uh, the window is closed after that so we will say uh, console uh, read any key any key which you see there so when I start now, with no breakpoint, the program is waiting here for a key input. So when I type in uh, enter there, then the program uh, goes on. Now, additionally, in this point, I would say, okay, now we're, uh, we're writing a small timer in this application. We go say uh, timer, small timer equals new timer and then let's say every second so thousand thousand milliseconds um, and this is uh, from this timer um, from my small timer. now we see there's a and un it's underlined and now when we go here to the solution it says using system threading 
or using system timers. Now we uh, we take that point, and now we say uh, here whenever it elapses plus equals. Now it comes. Okay, press tab, and now a small. That's the event which uh, it comes up. Now when we say okay, uh, my dear program, please in every second. Oh, didn't work. Delete. Now, at every second, write down t uh, the time. Then, and we start this one. Now we should see. We see nothing. Why did? Yeah, <laughs> it, it didn't start. So we also have to start the timer. Timer start. Brackets. And then uh, finally, when we close our program, then we would say uh, timer stop. So we started with F5, and then you will see whenever it uh, comes there, it's waiting at this point. It waits there for a key input, and until this time, it's uh, it writes always a line in there. Now when I uh, enter a key, then the program stops. And you will find that code on my website. Now where is it? Uh, that's my website. And I will bring the code to my code code.com and inside here is the code for that point. You may take that code.